cats. It's the first time I've ever seen cats at Disney World. Although I know they're here, they must be strays or the ones that come to catch mice. But why would they be out here? Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. We're here today in Disney Springs. We visited Disney Springs a few days ago. I don't know if I filmed much of that. I don't think I did. We scheduled a morning in, in Disney Springs today because we've got Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party tickets for tonight. Uh, so we're gonna look around the stores this morning, uh, get some lunch here as well, just some quick service lunch. And then uh, later on today, go to Mickey's Not So Scary. Mickey's Not So Scary will be in a different vlog. If you're looking for that, it's in a different place. I'll put a link up here if I've already made it. If I haven't, it'll be coming out in a week. Today, this morning, we're gonna go around Disney Springs to look at some of our favorite stores, mostly in the marketplace area. That's kind of the place I like to hang out. Uh, I haven't decided on quick service lunch yet, but we'll see how things go. We'll try and not spend a ridiculous amount of money, but no promises. We're in the candy store. This is amazing. They have plushies of candy. Have you seen this? Liam, this is a plushie pretzel. Got a little face on it. It's cute. Now I don't want to eat any pretzels anymore. They have plushie doll whip, but I don't think they can make the doll whip cute enough for me not to eat it anymore. We're in the Star Wars store, which feels a little pop-up-y. Was this a store of something else previously? It doesn't feel like a purpose-built Star Wars store. I mean, you can make your own lightsabers here. Um, but I actually really love these lamps. They're my favorite things. <laughs> Look at this. Are they working? Let's find out. No, they are not working. Um, but you can put red lamps or blue lamps. I guess you can put whatever lamp you want in them. Um, but they're kick ass. Star Wars toy sets. This one's my favorite because it has Jabba. Jabba the Hutt's an amazing character. Does look a little gross though. What? Do it. Yeah, and do it again. <laughs> They got lounge fly purses and bags here. They're amazing. Look at it, it's so cool. And then this probably is my favorite t-shirt actually. Uh, the uh, like blueprint and actual RTD2. It's cool. Oh, look what happened. We found the pin trading store. Oh, let's go in, fine. You twisted my arm. Special pins in the case here at the pin store. These are really amazing ones. That one that's closed is Ursula. We can't see inside her. Look at that one, it's the um, Wicked Stepmother. And they have a set like this. I don't know how much they are. They're gonna be about $16.99, I reckon, but they are pretty cool. Still really love that Mushu pin. Oh! Oh, I want this one. Love, it's a small world one that's cool. These are all the rides. And so there's the Jungle Cruise one. We saw that the other day. And Haunted Mansion. We were just here in the pin trader store behind all these people. Uh, we're gonna go this way, past this little cute train, all the way over to Trendy, which is over here. And I think this store extends all the way over into the co-op, I think. It's been a long time since I've been here. Uh, let's attack it anyway, because I think in here I'm gonna really want some stuff. Love this store. They pair like Disney stuff, like this top, with like other things which aren't Disney. I love it. Anyway, look at this skirt. It would go so lovely with this Mickey top. It's a really amazing outfit. You can come here so early in the trip and just clean up. But you need a lot of money because this stuff's expensive. I actually really love this top. Um, it's a short jumper. Long sleeves with um, beads on them. Oh, it's lovely. The store is also beautiful inside. Check out all these different color chandeliers. That's amazing. Some lovely art on the walls as well. I just think they did a really good job of this place. It's really awesome. It's an Ursula set or like an aerial set. I guess they're, they're like sort of the dark jewelry so it's be like villains and um, and Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh my God, look at this, this is intense. Oh wow. That is quite amazing. But yeah, very, very detailed. Oh, the path to your destiny lies within the magic of your heart. It's Rapunzel's tower. That's really cool. Oh, and the boat. Real. That one's really nice. It's like Alice. I think that's is that supposed to be through a looking glass kind of. Oh, yeah. It's cute though. They also have a playing card and I think he's on a necklace. Charm bracelet with like a hat and a mushroom. I do like this ring. I actually really appreciate this, this Mad Hatter ring. That's really cool. So this is the other side of Trendy. That's where we were just now. We turn all the way around real quick. Look, here we go. Whoa. That was fast. Um, now we are in the co-op, which is just a collection of different stores. There's like Wonderground Galleries. It's got some nice art. Um, there's some homeware, luggage. Anyway, let's go check it out. We've already seen something I want. Joey Cho. I love it. 
can't afford the big thing. But I can afford a postcard. The Mulan is so cute. Oh, and the dogs from the start of 101 Dalmatians. Oh, I love that. And then, yes, Liam's right. He just pointed this out. The figment and the tank. That is amazing. I love that. I love the pirates for stuff as well. It's amazing. All of this art in this style is really cool. There's a whole load of it. And I think lots of it at Tokyo Disney as well. Oh, Queenie. Oh, you're looking beautiful. Oh, I love it. I actually really like these little canvases. They're really cool. I kind of feel like it captures a little bit more of the spirit of both of these princesses. You can actually also get the Aerie on t-shirt. I actually quite like the Ray, which is weird. And Jasmine's pretty cool. Probably what it works best for though is Jack and Sally. Jack who largely looks normal. Sally just a slightly different. I'm in the dress shop. They have a load of a really amazing dresses themed to the parks. Check this out. It's like a satiny style. I don't think it's actually satin. Um, but it's got all the landmarks from Fancyland on there. Teacups, Small World, the castle. This is a beautiful black skirt. A satin feel again. Maybe it is satin. Who knows? Um, they have got the different... Oh, let's hold it up this way. This has got the different haunted mansions in it. So that one looks like the one in, uh, in Disneyland. There are other ones in there which is from the other parks. Maybe just Walt Disney World and Disneyland, I think. Uh, that's really cool. This is hilarious. This is your doll whip dress, okay? Beautiful. This is your orange bird dress. Choose your poison. And these are things that you can stick under them to make them all float out and look super bouncy. I love it. And you've got a little cardigan that matches both. It's brilliant. Don't stop there. You can even pair your own bag with it. <laughs> the orange bird and the door whip bag. And with the door whip bag, you can also buy a headband. Oh, I love it. It's great. The villain's dress is fabulous. Look at that. Simple at the top, quite like that. There's a sort of snow white dress with loads of apples in it. Oh, and you can see the dwarves in it. That's cool. Some of these dresses are incredibly well made. So this is bra strap adjustable straps on it. And here, this dress is bone. So it has boning all the way down here to this bit. And there's loads of fabric in this dress and it's incredibly weighty. This is a $169 dress, so you'd want to pay for something good. Um, but Disney doesn't necessarily have to make such fantastic things, but um, I'm really impressed with this. This was a, this really good, like this boning in particular. It's great. We're now in the Disney Centerpiece store and they have a really great collection of all the Haunted Mansion stuff. I think it's the same stuff you find in Memento Mori. I like this. This is probably one of my favourites. Look at that. That's spooky though. If I had that at home, ooh, it would give me the chills. That's yours. Oh my goodness, I thought that was the veggie burger. No. That is the actual burger. Wow, it looks like quite a meaty type of veggie burger. We stopped off in Deluxe Burger for breakfast, lunch. No, it's lunch, isn't it? We've used a quick service credit to eat here today. I wanted to come here because I know people really, really like it. And they actually have a veggie burger on the menu, which Liam ordered. I ordered the southern burger, the standard burger, with um, a bright green tomato on the top. Some other things. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. They have a great sauce collection here, not massive, but a good one. The curry ketchup is my favorite. It's really, really nice. If you're on the Disney dining plan and you're going to spend a quick service credit here, uh, it is only going to get you the burger. To get fries, you're going to have to spend another snack credit to get the fries. But one thing which is good is with your burger and your quick service dining credit also comes any drink on the menu. If you are over 21, it includes alcoholic beverage as well. So I got the small shake, which comes complete with a load of marshmallows. It's glorious but very sweet. Oh, it's very sweet. I need to put you on a tripod because it was, uh, this is a two-handed operation. I can't, I don't know if I can do this. It's a really good burger. Yeah? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's a really good burger. You can get burgers which don't have any flavour and you have to add a lot of sauce to put the flavour back in. I don't think I'm going to add anything to this. Which is really unlike me. I'm amazed. Veggie burger verdict? It's a fake meat one. It's, yeah, so it's meaty. But it's quite nice. I do have a bit more of the tzatziki on it. Oh yeah. But Go ask more. That's nice. Pop into this new Disney Star store because I have not been here yet. And they look like they're gonna have some cute stuff. Like Disney bounding kind of stuff actually. 
Yeah, it's very Disney boundy. Like Mickey dress and goofy top. I like this goofy top. Oh, look. There's a Donald t shirt. Okay, no, I really quite like that. Oh, look, Queenie outfit. Oh, I love it. And it's quite like. It's quite a, like a it's like a drying material. And that is cotton, like bed sheet cotton. That's quite cool, I like that. <laughs> Some amazing stuff here, which I think is for Run Disney. Some incredible things, I actually thought that was Ursula. And then this is a Dory top. It's got these little skirts. I think you should wear little shorts or leggings underneath them and then you can run Disney. I love this top, this hat, sorry. It's brilliant. Um, I'm really actually quite tempted to get it. <laughs> Got more of these awesome tops. This is the Evil Queen version. Look. Oh, I love it. So cool. And they go all the way around. All the way around. And look at that Maleficent top. I love that. It's the extra small one. I'd like a big one so it just like hangs super loose. That is really cool. Checking out all the t-shirts. Tweedledee one again. Liam's found the best one though. <laughs> I love my job. It's amazing. This is my favorite area at Disney Springs. Not for the stores, but for just for how it looks. I think it looks really cool. It's also covered. It's also covered. <laughs> so it's cooler. And when it rains, you're undercover. So yeah. That rain is coming. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that's scary. <laughs> Did you want to go to Sephora? <sighs> I always want to go to Sephora, but is it a good idea for me to go to Sephora, Liam? No, it's not. You got the stuff. It's not. We got, I got the stuff I need. Let's save some pennies. Let's be good. So I can buy more funny Disney t-shirts. Don't know what to expect from Disney Corner, but we're going to go in. Uh, I'm expecting kids' costumes. Am I right? I think I might be right. Yeah, it's all kids in here. Kids' outfits. Um, princess outfits, Star Wars outfits, uh, Marvel outfits, and Halloween outfits. I think my favorite one is probably over here. There's a few t-shirts for adults, but not a lot. I like this, totally bewitching. That's super cute. If you've got kids and you want to dress them up, it's a cool place to come. Just picked up a t-shirt from Uniqlo, that's all. I actually really like buying t-shirts from Uniqlo. I buy the men's shape t-shirt, because uh, I just prefer the shape of t-shirt to women's shape. Um, T-shirts in Uniqlo are $14.90, so $14.90 uh, plus tax, which is about half the price from the T-shirts that you'll buy inside the parks. So if you come to Walt Disney World and you're desperate to get some T-shirts with Mickey on them or bring him back home or whatever, uh, you'll get some really, really cool and cute ones inside of Uniqlo for half the price that you will do with the T-shirts that you get in the parks. They're not the same design, so if there's a particular design in the parks that you like, you're just gonna have to shell out the money. Um, but if you uh, just want to have a look at new clothes, see what you can find, you might find something you really like. I quite like that store, a lot in fact. Wow, this is the new store. This looks so much better than I remember it. Uh, there's still some work going on here. So there's still about, oh, I don't know, a third of the store is still, is still blocked off. So it's still working on the last bits. But wow, the rest of it looks really great. Oh, I'm quite impressed with this. I haven't seen this yet, have you? No. That's a cute backpack. I actually really quite like that. It's missing um, bits on the side though for drink bottles and stuff. But it's down in backpack, it's quite cute. I still love these PJ pants. And they're still $37. I am paying $37 for PJ pants, but they are beautiful. Yeah. That's a great mug. And they're great salt, salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> Good shot, yeah. <laughs> You'd have to take a shot and everybody has to shout mine. I love the 90s TV show mugs. Chippendale, Duckwing Dog, Tailspin, with Ducktails. Oh, it's so cool. That's lovely. It says it's a stained glass window, so I guess it is. It's beautiful. Oh, really well done. You see that Alice painting right at the top we're in the World of Disney Store. World of Disney Store? No, the Art of Disney Store, that's where we are. And I love this wall. Let me put the light back up. So you can see now this is probably my favorite wall of like the old style disney like old old oh no maybe not that one on the bottom left oh that's scary yeah the snow the space is particularly apt <laughs> next one next to it it's like all sort of old school disney perhaps apart from the beauty and the beast snow white was hard for me before. yeah okay i had no idea about that on the bottom of the left of the painting there's a number it says 12 which means yeah. there's 12 hidden characters inside of these paintings thank you so much marissa told us about it thank you um and uh yeah i'm gonna tell you where a few of them are i don't 
don't know where many of them are. Um, so we're going to have a look down here. This You may be able to see that as Jiminy Cricket. And hiding in the reeds there, that is flounder. It's not really reeds, he's sort of surrounded by other fish. Uh, and apparently there are 12 others inside of this painting. Oh my god, Liam, I now want it even more now. That's, like, really. So this is the Sleeping Beauty one. And um, there's a few cool hidden characters in here. Tink's in here. She was in the last one as well, hiding up there. See? And then we're going to pan all the way over here to where Maleficent is. And right on the top right, inside the hole within the tree, that's Zazu. <laughs> it's hilarious, right? I love it. Oh, look. There she goes. Millie off in the distance. Looks like clear skies from there for the rest of the evening, and that's good news for everybody. We're be heading up to East Hasagula River, our first stop in the French Quarter, which is 15 minutes away, and then we'll be on our way to Riverside, which oh. is 10 minutes away. I forgot to close the vlog. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, after finishing up at Disney Springs, we went back to the room and got changed uh, to uh, go to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. The, this <laughs> is a hint now at outfits, a pretty obvious one. <laughs> the next vlog will all be about our second Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, which is on this trip. Um, we're about to go into it just now, so I say thank you so much for watching. Check out the next video if you want to see our Mickey's Not So Scary uh, experiences, and I'll see you all then. Thanks again. Bye. I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Build right. I love it, it's amazing, your hat, you're very tall now. There's loads of fireworks everywhere. Whoa. We're heading to Space Mountain to do this in the dark.